Hello and welcome to another Local Works Wednesday from uh, 00 Rail. So in the lo Local Works today, um, we have an old uh, Triang Hornby uh, Nelly locomotive. Now uh, this is one that I got off eBay um, quite a while ago and it simply uh, didn't run at all. Um, so what I've done is um, I've taken it apart. So to take it apart is pretty easy. Um, there's a uh, single screw uh, in the back here um, right so and then um, basically it just uh, unplugs from the uh, rest of the chassis um, I've also removed the rear coupling and the reason I did that uh, was just so that I could attach the uh, crocodile clips to it now um, it had uh, one glaring obvious problem is it doesn't have the um, pickups um, on the uh, loco at all so if I uh, bring that a little closer to the camera maybe if I uh, zoom in um, you'll be able to see there um, it does not have um, any pickups at all um, now I do have another uh, Nelly loco here um, just so you can see um, it should have the uh, some sort of uh, pickups uh, across the back here um, so this thing didn't actually run at all it was um, dead in the water um, so what I ended up doing um, to get it running was um, I attached uh, one uh, crocodile clip here uh, to one rail and um, I basically attached it uh, to the blob of solder where the pickups used to be connected to and then um, I attached uh, the other side um, to the um, chassis itself. Now when I applied power um, you could see uh, the motor would turn uh, slightly um, but it was very very uh, stiff um, so what I did was I uh, took some uh, rubbing alcohol uh, which is the 91% uh, and uh, you can see here from the state of them um, from the q-tips and I basically uh, took the q-tip and uh, cleaned uh, in above here um, around the uh, commutator um, until I got that completely clean. So I basically manually turned it with one finger um, while I had the uh, other one in here rotating this. Um, and that basically cleaned uh, the commutator and uh, kind of got some of that carbon out. Now this had been, hadn't been used in decades would be my guess. Um, so what I did was I knew this was going to be really, really stiff and I needed to get it kind of uh, broken loose. Um, so I took the uh, liquid bearings uh, oil and I basically uh, dumped a ton of it um, onto the pad that's down here. And I dumped a ton of it onto the gearing here as well as the bearings uh, on either side here and here and here. And um, what I did then was once it was soaked in, in oil, I applied power to it and I took the um, other q-tip and basically um, started rolling the motor like this until it basically kicked in uh, once it kicked in I adjusted the uh, power level and then basically I uh, got the motor running um, so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you that it does actually work and um, it does actually work pretty well um, as you can see there um, that's on about 50% power and uh, it's running really well and it does run in um, both directions uh, and it runs fairly smoothly too so I'm, I'm quite pleased with this um, so the next uh, phase which is basically uh, what we're going to show you now in this video is uh, we're going to need to uh, kind of uh, put together um, some uh, you know, oops um, the crocodile clip has come off there um, so yeah so basically um, what we're going to do next is basically fashion some uh, pickups for this thing. So I'm going to try a couple of things, but uh, I think um, either some copper wire or maybe some uh, a paper clip uh, might be usable as a uh, decent set of uh, pickups. So um, I'm going to go get some materials together and uh, basically um, get the soldering iron ready to go and uh, we'll walk you through uh, what will hopefully be um, kind of uh, putting together uh, some pickups. Now I could go and order from Peter Spears or something like that um, the proper pickups. Um, unfortunately um, being in the United States 
uh, that would take you know maybe two three weeks for the uh, you know order to go through and uh, for the items to actually get here. Um, so instead, uh, since it's a just a piece of metal really that needs to make contact with the two inside of the two wheels, um, we're going to try to uh, build something from scratch and uh, see if we can get it uh, up and running um, tonight. All right, so um, I'm going to go and get the stuff put together, and then we'll. Uh, show you to you um, about how we um, put together. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is uh, clean up the wheels and go uh, test it out on the track. Over there, give you a good, good look at that, but. So you can see here it, uh, it's working pretty well. Um, I did have to bend uh, this end here a little bit, uh, mainly because uh, after I soldered it, uh, the center joint actually um, came a little bit loose. And um, so what I did was I pressed uh, this end up with a screwdriver against the wheel, and then I took the pliers and basically uh, bent this until it made pretty good contact. Um, it did spark quite considerably. Um, when it uh, first went off, um, but you can see there now after a few minutes it's running pretty smoothly. 
um, and I'm quite happy with it. So what we're going to do next is uh, put the uh, chassis back on it and show it to you just running back and forth here. Uh, unfortunately the wheel flanges on this are a little too deep to make it over the Pico points uh, so it's a candidate for our old uh, Triang Super 4 track uh, but for today we're just going to run it here back and forth here with no points and uh, show it to you running. So uh, give me a few seconds to uh, put the uh, chassis back on and you'll see the end product. Alright, so it's uh, all back together and uh, we'll give you a couple of good shots of it uh, here in a minute going the other way, but for now let's uh, see what happens with the chassis on. Pretty much uh, running like me. Uh, so we we'll pick it up and uh, scoot it around. You can see it's in uh, pretty good condition. Looks like we will need to fix the. Uh, Coupling there on the front, but we can do that pretty quickly with pliers. Uh, but all in all, it's looking uh, pretty good. Well, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, Loco Works Wednesday. I do apologize for the bit of hiatus. Uh, I was a bit sick there and uh, had some other uh, car issues going on the last couple of weeks, but everything's been sorted out. So. Uh, look who works Wednesday, we'll be back on a regular basis. Alright, well until next week.